I'm going to tell you a short story about the origins of Halloween. Over 2,000 years ago, in areas of Ireland, Scotland and England, a group called the Celts celebrated a special day. On the 1st of November, they believed it was the end of the summer season and the beginning of the new year with autumn and winter. So on the 1st of November, the Celts celebrated to say goodbye to summer and hello to autumn, winter and the new year. They believed that the night before this special holiday was a very magical night and they thought that spirits that belonged to dead people came back to earth to visit them. Because they were a little bit scared of this, they gathered around in bonfires and dressed up in scary costumes made out of animal skins and animal furs to try and scare these ghosts away. So they pretended they were very, very frightening creatures and ghosts as well. Many, many years later, these pagan traditions mixed with religious traditions, or let's say Catholic traditions, and the Catholic Church imposed some new celebrations and holidays, but also incorporated lots of existing pagan traditions, including this one. In fact, the Catholic Church named two very special days, the 1st of November, and they called it All Saints Day, a day to celebrate and commemorate saints, and this was also known as All Hallows Day. Hallow being an old word for saints. So 1st of November, All Saints Day or All Hallows Day. And the 2nd of November, All Souls Day, the soul of the departed. They also believed that the night before the 1st of November was a very special night and there was a very small separation between the world of the living and the world of the dead. And they also celebrated on this night by wearing special costumes to scare away the ghosts. And they called this day, the 31st of October, All Hallows' Eve, meaning the night before Hallows' Day. Later, this became known as Halloween. Many, many years passed and populations and people started moving around more in the world. There was a very, very big immigration flux from Europe to America in the late 1800s and early 1900s. And these people who left Europe went to America bringing language, culture, beliefs, religion, and traditions, including Halloween. Obviously, this celebration, this tradition changed and evolved. And in America, Halloween took on a whole new meaning. It maintained lots of the original traditions, but it also added some new ones. Um, for example, in Europe, people used to use vegetables called turnips, and they used to carve them. They carved eyes and the mouth and put a, um, a light inside, a fire inside, and used them as lanterns. Have you ever seen a turnip? A turnip. Um, in America, instead, they, they used pumpkins, which you now know as the jack-o'-lantern. Halloween is still very popular today, and people, and children especially, celebrate it in many, many countries. Before, it was mostly the English-speaking countries, but now Halloween is popular all over the world. In fact, even in Italy, children often dress up in scary costumes and gather around and have parties or go trick-or-treating, uh, asking for sweets. Many households celebrate Halloween by decorating their houses with the symbols we all know. Uh, black cats, jack-o'-lanterns, spiders, cobwebs, and ghosts.
Are you going to celebrate Halloween this year? Bye-bye.